Stay committed to the plan. Stay committed to the course. Listen, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. Every day, we don't know what this world's going to be like. Trust me, this lockdown is crazy. This whole year has just been nuts. Trust me, you know I know. You know I know. If anybody knows how crazy things have been and how you just want this year just to be, you, we just want to get back to whatever our new normal is going to be. But it's not, right? We don't know when normal is going to be. We don't know. We don't know anything right now. We don't know anything right now. We don't have control over a lot of external things, but we do have control of things internal. We do have control of things inside. I'm speaking to myself on this one. This is the self-talk that I have to give myself as I just put this rash guard on, getting ready for the second second session of jujitsu for the day. You know, regardless of how crazy it is, the pain that's going on, we don't know what's gonna happen between now and next week, but what we can control is our actions. What we can control more importantly is our thoughts. And that's something that I had to reevaluate and really sit back and think about it and really see, okay, I could sit here and sulk about what's happening externally, you know, what's happening out there when I turn on the news and what I'm not able to get or what I can't have and things like that. And or I can change the way I'm thinking right now, regardless of what's going to happen. These things are still going on outside. You know, the shutdown is still going to happen tomorrow. The shutdown is still going on, you know, next week. But in the meantime, I can control the way I'm thinking and I can make sure I'm doing everything I possibly can to just stay on point with my regimen, my routine. And I'm speaking about jujitsu, but you put this with whatever you guys are doing, whatever it is that, you know, in your heart, you should be doing what you put off. You know, you wait, you say you're going to do it tomorrow. You don't do it tomorrow. Whatever it is, do it. Get it done. Don't wait. Don't get off the course. Stay on point with from the smallest to the biggest things. Get your wins in. Make it happen. Maybe you are trying to come to jujitsu finally. Go ahead. Come through. Sign up. Go to class. Go to the gym. Go work out. Go run. Go something. Go, you know, read the new book. Start working on the business a little bit more. Put more, put an extra hour in that business that you're trying to, trying to work on. Whatever it, it is, but stay on course, stay on plan, stay on point. Because when we do get back to our new normal, whatever that may be, who, are you going to be ready? Then what? What's going to happen? Are you going to be ready to attack? Or now do you have to play all this catch up? Because from all, all these couple of months when we have this shutdown, you've been doing absolutely nothing. You've been taking this opportunity to binge watch and this and that. For what? I have to say to myself, the pain that I'm dealing with every day, all the time, I could use this pain to either bring me down and to just put me on that couch to where I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to answer the phone. I don't want to see anybody. Or I can turn this pain into energy. I can turn this pain into motivation to say, okay, I'm going to overcome this. And I'm going to, I'm going to overcome this with action every day. And if it is as simple as, you know what? I was able to get up an hour earlier, two hours earlier. Hey, I'll take it. That's a start for me. That's a win for me. Okay. If I'm able to get everything I need to get done, whatever small errands that I need to get done within that a lot of time, you know, earlier than I, I normally would, that's a win. If I was able to make return these phone calls, edit this video, go train, go work on the business, that's a win. And all those wins, when you look back, it's like, okay, I accomplished a lot today. Let's try this again tomorrow and the next day. You know, that's why I'm so adamant about making sure with everything that's going on, I still do jujitsu. Jujitsu is so important to me, like I said in the other video, way beyond what we're learning as far as techniques. It's the principles that you're able to get from it because jujitsu is forcing you to say you're going to have to deal with some adversity right in front of your face on top of whatever adversity you're dealing with. No one forces me to go walk through that door. No one tells me to come. No one says anything. I have to make sure I get up and say I'm going to walk in that door every day, day out and still put in the work. Creating that discipline, like I said before making sure I'm staying on, on, on the plan of attack. Because I, like I said, I got the brown belt and that was a culmination of X amount of years, hundreds of thousands of, of hours of just putting in, in work. To simplify it even more, showing up. I just showed up every day. And I, that's in anything that I do, I just show up. Despite what is happening you know, in my life, 
all the time, you know, years ago when I was younger, you know, losing people in my life, you know, things are just not going the way it should be. Trust me, I can relate to all of that, but still just showing up, still just having this mental, just mental strength to say, I'm still going to show up. And that has become my therapy. And that has allowed me to process and get through a lot of these things. Just show up. And that's why I use jujitsu and just working out as, as something, as a therapy session. And wherever, however you look from working out, that's, I mean, honestly, I, I used to care about that. I used to be like the main objective. I want to look like this. I want to make sure, listen, however I look is however I look. It's the principles that I'm getting from it. Staying uncomfortable. And when it starts to hurt and when I'm in pain, you know, when I'm in pain from other things and it starts creeping in my mind, I feel it's taking over and I just want to give up. I just work out even harder. And that's it. I'll go another round of sparring in jujitsu, you know, and just push that pain out. And then when it's all over, I'm able to just to have a little bit of clarity and say, OK, think what plan of, of attack can we handle? What can, what can we do right now? You know, what can we work on right now? What can you adjust? What can you fix right now to for us to progress and, to, and get better? It's going to suck. It's going to hurt. I'm in pain. You're in pain. You know, I know tons of people. You know, friends of mine, they don't know when the job is coming back. You know, I know people who have lost loved ones. I've lost loved ones. I know people like that. So I understand. I get it. I get it. And I get what you're going through. And you don't want to hear all the time. How are you feeling? It's going to be OK. You can get through this. It doesn't work all the time. And that's not in some cases that makes it worse when you hear that. I get it. But what you can do, you know what? Go work out. Go that pain that you're feeling, go let it all out under the bar. Go to jujitsu, let it out in sparring. You know, allow yourself just to get all of that pent up energy, aggression, anger, pain, sadness, suffering. Just get it out. And now come back with a clearer head. And now you can think, OK, what's my next move? What can I do right now? What am I in control of right now? You know, so something to think about. I'm going to get out of here. It's time for some no-gi, and I'll be back soon. Peace.